Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode what I'd like to do is to have to show you some tips that have been given by Zero Life. So let's get on with those first of all. I've actually set it up and then prepared. Well hopefully I am. One of the tips is this. Actually I should be upstairs to do this. Now to make cobblestone, 16 cobblestone, we can use silicon and oxygen. I want to actually go make a pattern but that's, let's go and do that pattern first. Because I really should have done that before I went downstairs. So basically two silicon. I need a processing pattern. Two silicon. Four, ox four oxygen will make 16. Cobblestone. The reason I need that pattern is we'll see later on. So anyway, I don't need these for now. We'll put this away. I'd really need, just need the pattern. So the first tip he's given me is we can use chisel to colour cobblestone. And in this chest here, I've got some coloured cobblestone. All different types. Let's just move this up here. And I want to control space. Yeah, I'll control shift this into here, I think. Let's control space shift. So we've got all of these different cobblestones and you can make all of these cobblestones with the chisel. So basically you just take the chisel like this and you put a, so any cobblestone in here and you can select the colours. What we're going to look at first of all is why we would like to do that. So here I've got a chemical decomposer. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to decompose some ordinary cobble on oh, one. I need to select it with a, not the chisel in my hand. Let's move the chisel out of my hand. So We'll put the I will put the put the auto chisel down here instead. So if we just decompose cobblestone, we get a chance of different materials. In fact, actually, we get a chance of more than those materials. Let's just carry on. Yeah, we get titanium, iron, chlorine, sodium, uh, oxygen, magnesium. In fact, if we actually go back and have a look at cobblestone here. I want to look at compressed cobblestone. So let's look at coloured cobblestone. Cobblestone. There's quite a few different varieties of cobblestone here. And the uses of this one here, basically, if we were going to do to the decomposer, we get quite a few different. If I get to it, there's a lot of them, aren't there? Right. So you can get silicon and oxygen, magnesium oxygen, titanium oxygen, lead. Sodium and chloride, oxygen, iron, and then it goes back again. Ten percent chance. So we, we expect to get these whatever we do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to decompose coloured cobblestone white, and let's see what happens here. So we, these are all filling up here as we expect them to do, and here I've got five titanium dioxide. Now titanium dioxide. If we come over here and put this into a synthesizer. Well, that's his bone meal. So that's the colour white. So let's just put I'll put those into here like that. The next one we'll take we'll ignore these because these are what get you from cobblestone is orange dye. Let's see what happens if we get anything interesting from orange. Now we've got some silicon this time, that's actually good. So we get some potassium diachromate, and I guess if I look at that one in the synthesizer, let's have a look. We get orange dye. Oh, that's splashing, isn't it? So let's put that in there. Next one, magenta. Which we do this one, and we're actually getting two different dyes now. We're getting copper sulfate and cobalt cobalt nitrate. Now cobalt nitrate, obviously, so you can use that for all sorts of things, and that gives us red cobalt nitrate. And this one gives us light blue dye. And if you look at this, you've got copper and sulfate in that as byproducts. And here you've got cobalt. We haven't got us a way of getting cobalt so far, so that's one way of getting it. Let's carry on with this. I would like to put these two in this chest over here like that. And carry on with the next colour, which is light blue. Light blue, I think we already know we're going to get cobalt, copper sulfate here. Huh? we did it in the previous one next one yellow so we should get yellow dye in this one potassium chromate 
potassium chromate I think we'll find out if we put this in here we get yellow dandelion yellow yellow dye in other words and of course we can put these into here like that next one green now green is basically light green in this case lime is basically I'm not sure what nickel chloride nickel chloride so that'll be that'll be um, a lime dye here huh? yep sure enough next one pink so what we do with pink that's basically titanium dioxide plus red which was potassium magnate no cobalt nitrate okay we've got actually quite a few of those 20 of each next one gray now gray is basic black and white so we expect to see titanium dioxide and the black which is cop which is carbon black titanium dioxide and carbon black and then a light gray well it's probably get the same thing but maybe in different proportions sure enough we've got titanium dioxide and carbon black I've actually already got one stack of oxygen in this lot next one cyan so they're basically cyan i'm not sure what cyan is blue and white copper copper sulfate i forgot what copper sulfate is probably like blue yeah it's like blue and titanium dioxide is white so let's put those into there and carry on with this so what have we got next purple this time we're getting potassium permanganate and this is the only way I've found so far of actually getting manganese because MM is manganese and of course we put that in there we get purple dye very straightforward really fairly obvious next one lazarite now lazarite of course is and they've got quite a decent amount is actually lapis lazuli so that's a really good way of getting lapis lazuli which is also hard to get in this pack because you can't mine it and you've got to mine chem it and that's basically the only way so here we've got brown now brown is tannic acid and theobrine now theobrine if i remember right it was basically um cocoa beans sure enough cocoa beans tannic acid I'm not sure what that uses of that one is actually so we'll look at the uses of that one we really want the chemical synthesizer if anything it gives us brown stained glass brown wool so it's actually an, it is another form of brown dye because obviously this is just a recipe for glass and that's a recipe for wool okay fairly straightforward so the tannic acid was another way of getting brown now next one is green green is basically um green dye which comes from uh, cactus cooked cactus zinc green zinc green let's check it out and sure enough we get cactus cactus green next one is red which of course we're going to get the same as we did before which is cobalt nitrate which will give us basically uh red dye and we'll finish off with black while that's doing that let's just check that one yep you're getting rose red in that one and carbon black carbon black is basically ink sacks like that actually i don't know whether it's got other recipes we could use for this one let's have a look at uses of that one and see what else we've got so we want the synthesizer basically it's just black black wool and of course you can mix it with titanium dioxide to get white light gray and different proportions will give you gray dye so there you are that's a rundown of a, a great tip from uh, well part of the tip actually from zero life another part of the tip is this you can automate this we have a auto chisel from chisel so we put the auto chisel down here like that and we want to get some let's say we want to convert this all of this to blue because blue is quite good because you want this so we want to basically take us 
take some stack out oh basically we just want one cobblestone let's put this one st cobblestone into the chisel like this and take out the blue cobblestone now if I put the blue cobblestone if put into here now I need to come with this one here I need to click it with this don't I so the, the blue the, the target goes here and the chisel goes here and then all we need to do is to fill it, it feed it in so if I got this thing here it should start to feed this in with cobblestone I hope it's taking its time nothing's moved out of there yet it did work last time but maybe because I fed it from the back in that case I've got some more item blocks so let's just try feeding that into the back ah no it's probably not it's probably one of these upgrades we've got a speed upgrade we've got an automation upgrade and a stack upgrade so let's go and make first of all this automation upgrade I think that's probably the easiest way to find this and we've got these three different or well, actually four but this one the revision or upgrade doesn't work so you can't send it back again automation upgrade so basically that's three emeralds and one hopper we might have everything we need for that good we have okay I'm gonna leave that recipe there so now it's not automating is it so let's put this in there just shift click it in and we should start to see items coming in there we go and that's now doing those one at a time quite slowly yeah let's go and get the stack upgrade on that now which is speed that one so this is just a crafting table well we need a crafting table wood let's quickly make a crafting table which we can do on ourselves of course the Lindsay Sterling crafting table put that in there and then we've got the stack upgrade so now if we stick this into here you should start pressing these ones stack at a time yeah there you go it gets a stack and then it presses the whole stack like that okay fantastic now the last one is I can't do it I forgot to go and get some sugar cane because I forgot to get it out the door because I seem to have used all my sugar cane making paper in the past so let's just harvest some sugar cane of what I need is a, a piece of sugar for the last one of these which is the speed upgrade So basically that's like that. Then we get the speed upgrade. Those are the three upgrades we can put into this machine. Like that. Of course everything's already been completed so it's not much point in... Uh, I can't really show that. It probably just goes faster, that's it. So of course we could then take this lot and then shove these through the decomposer to get lots of lapis lazuli. And just keep feeding it in. In fact if we've got a hopper on the system here we could put a hopper on it can't we hopper oh, we've got one hopper there if I just put a hopper on the top of this because this is a decomposer it can only go in the top and then we can put all of this into there like that and it'll slowly come through it's not very fast doing it this way but it's we can speed it up by sticking some more cobblestone in here like that or we'll th let these go through because there's about 10 stacks in here we'll see what we actually get for useful components it's not really important at the moment so that was one tip the next tip is this one he we've got some basically some aluminium ingots aluminiums are pain to convert to blocks so what we can do with the aluminium 
and I didn't really know this, so this is a good tip too. We can actually say, okay, if I put this tech reborn in here like that, it's going to get converted to Tinker's construct. Oh, by default, okay. You can put it through like that and you get your Tinker's construct aluminium. Because this recipe here required, con um, to make this blocks required Tinker's construct aluminium. So normally when you make a block of anything, it doesn't actually revert to what you've actually got before. So if you basically put that, 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 and then in in here, you can actually feed this in. So let's put this into the chest. I don't know if it'll work in the chest, to be honest with you. If I shift those out, I get seven blocks. I didn't work, okay. I thought it might do. So we then get blocks of Tinker's Construct. So we can basically craft ingots of Tinker's Construct into blocks of that. It doesn't actually, it's oddly enough, it's actually not as obvious as you'd think. Well, I don't think it is. Let's try doing it like this. It wasn't very clever, that was it. So, shift that out. Huh. What have we got left? Nine, seven. Okay, fine. So, we got, I thought we had 32. Never mind. Am I because I left one out? Of, nope, don't know. So, that's another tri trick for making these blocks of aluminium that I was doing in a previous episode with well I still am doing it with frames so that's quite nice isn't it now there is another thing we can do too is why I made this interface uh, so I made this pattern in the beginning of the, of the episode here I've got an interface yeah and if I put enter this interface this pattern here and if I put into this for example let's put some chests down I've got some chests. I think I picked up three chests, yes. So if I put chests down like this, and then I put into here a recipe for to craft this, so I've got a recipe in there, and let's say I would like to craft a hundred um, cobblestone. So let's go to the terminal here and craft a hundred cobblestone. Let's go for uh, crafting. Oh. Cobblestone. That's not so easy. You have to do it like this, huh? Change the view to craftable. Let's say we want to make 100 of these things. So that's going to give us, tw we need 28 oxygen and 14 silicon. That's going to give 112 cobblestone. Let's start that. Now, what we're not sure about is where are these items going to go into? They should come into here, I think. Ah, oh, in this case, they've chosen this particular chest. But what you can do with this is you can take a wrench here and you can right click the back and that points it in that direction. So if I now go and ask for another 100 cobblestone it'll look so, so everything's available start they'll come into this chest and of course you can change it around so what that means is basically here where I've been separating everything, I could make it much more dense. I could put another um, synthesizer in every single block here. And all I have to do to make sure that they go into the right one is to come to the top here and click it with the, like that. I think that's done the trick, yes. So that's going to go down in that direction. And there's no chance of it interfering with the other ME interfaces. You know, I didn't know that very interesting strange isn't it that you did that i didn't know it so what do we get here so we've got a stack and well basically a stack and ten of lapis lazuli which we can basically put into here like that and then just shift click those out for our stack and ten lapis lazuli isn't that cool Thank you very much. So that's another tip for you. So what I wanted to do in this episode, well actually I've done it already I think, everything I wanted to cover, but we do need to do some more stuff. Let me just put this lapis lazuli away here. In fact I should decompose this coloured cobblestone while I'm thinking about it. I'll put those Tinker's Construct as well away. Um, and that. I was actually one short. I should go to get my stuff. Anyway, what we let's have a look at what we got to do for quests today. 
so crystallize is the one that's not working too well for us but I could trigger this one so I've done it take flight because you can do um, that's what we're working on next that's number one energy and this is a matter fabricator now I think then we have to use this for the an RF charge task so to make this we've obviously got to submit all that power now we can't do that at the moment because as far as I can see that's not working but what we could do is go back to elements here and look at the fusion wall here now the fusion wall is actually needs 192 we've seen this before and I've got a crafting recipe in here to start making and this is actually blocked printed circuits so let's go and fix this and I don't know why it's blocked in fact let's make four let's make some of these by the way I need 48 of these let's start that off um that I need to get the stuff out of this chest and tight that I've got in here let's just sort that and then control space across like that in fact let's put this last piece of cobblestone in this decomposer here yeah didn't give us anything more just some oxygen so I don't actually know what's going on here because in here is the recipe for this encoded pattern let's just remove it and in here is where it should have gone into so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this now I'm going to put an ME storage bus onto this, like this. I'm going to use a flat one. I don't need to use a flat one, but you can actually see the block better. We'll put into that this pattern for this. And we just need to cable it up now. So one on, oops, wrong one. One on the floor and then one on top of that. And that should then cable it in. So now, let's go and cancel that pattern. Let's go and cancel that request. It should start automatically doing another one. For some reason, it's been it just got blocked. It's not crafting them. The cancel. So we'll wait a few seconds. It'll come in again because of the export bus at the top. So this time, it's actually it should be crafting these here, and it is actually crafting them this time. And then it's making the processes. It's probably already finished, is it? Indeed, it has. We could speed this up. We've already got two in there. We could put another card because this is actually the one that's going to be used most, isn't it? All of those different blocks. So now. Let's have a look at the crafting. It's actually crafting the ME storage component. And that's going to take a few seconds because that's using the power in here. And it's going to take quite a while. And then that will get exported into here. So that was the problem. And I don't ask me why that's got blocked. But I was investigating it. I found a, that's a, a solution for it. Um, I was trying to figure... I can't figure it out actually. I don't know where the other ones would have, could have or would, should have gone to, because the only place we ever do those circuits is definitely in here. Okay, so that's that problem resolved. In fact, let's have a look else. What else we've got to do? I'd like to start. On doing another automation because it's basically this game's all about automations isn't it so um, what we've also got to do is the fusion wall wall this one here so we've got to make some dense lead plates so I guess that those are made by compressing lead plates let's make another compressor I don't remember how to do a compressor actually. So we need this one. So we need aluminium holes, electronic circuits, and a basic machine casing. So that one is okay. We can probably do this no problem at all. 
So that is blocks of aluminium from foundry. Ah, it's got to be foundry. <laughs> so. And that's the Tinker's Construct. That I've got already good. So we've got 64 of those and we needed, what did we need? Circuits. Let's craft some circuits while we're at it. We've got two. Let's craft another 20. Okay, that's in, in its mode crafting so we can put those back in there. We don't care about that now. Um, fusion walls. I need the I need this one, don't I? I'm going to craft up those. Oh, I do need ten. A basic machine and this one. So we need five logic processors. Let's get some of these logic processors made. How many do we need? It's five per. I've forgotten what it is already. So we need eight. So we need 40 logic processors. That shouldn't be too difficult. Start those going. So circuits. We've basically, oh, I got the view. Yes, I've got stored and craftable. That's good. So these circuits will be blocked. They'll be blocked because of the, um, in here you see you've got all the materials going on for that so we've got the redstone and the insulated copper cables so we'll, as soon as this one's finished we should be able to do the electronic circuits and they'll go out very fast i think they'll go out fairly fast anyway but because this is going through here it's going to take it it might be processing the next lot so let's have a look it's crafting 20 of those and this is crafting one and this is crafting the circuits good so we've actually got things progressing so we just have to wait so what was that circuits still only got two and processors We need, we've got to wait for 40 of those. Well, when the 40 comes, we can do that. We also needed a basic machine frame, and I think I've got a basic machine frame. We've got two basic machine casings already. Uh, I don't know why. I must have made loads of them. Because what I want to do next is I've got to automate this stuff, haven't I? Uh, 24. I'm just hoping it's not going to, one of the other processors is not going to steal my processors. Let's just double check this. That's one thing I was worried about. I reckon this is still my 16 processors. <laughs> yeah, it has indeed. So we have to craft another 16 of these. And hopefully that's going to come in fairly quickly. That, that means that this is probably making the circuits now. It is indeed. What I'm thinking about doing, maybe I should move the circuits to a different assembly table. If I move to the other assembly table, then it, they could work at the same time. This is a fairly high, a high powered one. It's not as bad as the other ones. So it's 50, it's nearly 60 million RF. Those, so those take quite a long time. Let's have a look at for our processes again. Right, we're getting, we're getting there slowly. So that should be our 40 processes that we need. And circuits. got eight so what can we do with this now that's the wrong machine this one so we need the aluminium hole so we need 32 blocks plus five so we need a processor for this I should probably can make one of those now let's go and do that so let's clear this off so we need five of these 
and 32 blocks of foundry. Let's go and put that in the other assembly table. You see, if I put it in the other assembly table here, so if I put 32 blocks of that plus five of these, we should be able to make an aluminium machine hull. Select that up there. Basically, we want that aluminium machine hull to be made. So this is quite a low powered one. It's only six million RF. So they should get done fairly quickly. In fact, it's likely that it'll come across and just click into this one and do it to be doing at the moment. Aha, uh -huh. we're doing another ME storage. Let's just click this off so I can finish the circuits. Because there's only what, five to do now. So that's not too bad. And we've still got to wait for this one. Could even cheat it across and just click it across like this. And then that should have made, oh no, it hasn't made the hole yet. Well, I'll be patient, I think, because we want the hull for the recipe, don't we? And it normally comes across so fast you don't even see it happen with such low, with a low power like this. So we want the hull, then we can finish off this recipe. That's as simple as that. And then we can make our compressor and basically what I want to do with the compressor is to simply take it and um, automate it because we've got the one in here which is working quite nicely but it's got no automation on it so it's the compressor is actually this one isn't it um, so what I want to do is to automate this so it's so we can make those whole things without doing it here. Well, it has got some automation, hasn't it? Actually, let's do that. Let's get some lead plates. So we need some lead ingots. So we got 16 lead ingots. Let's take those along here. We actually need nine. and simply put them into the metal former here. So that'll make plates for us very quickly. Let's go and get those plates. The, the lead ingots will also be made in here as well. So we've got lead, we've got our 16, and you see that the 16 ingots have come back already. Let's get a processing recipe for those first of all. I'm gonna to have to take these out. So one of those is made from one of these. And craft that one. So we can put this into the metal former. So that's the interface for that one. So we've got our second recipe in here. I do intend to move this downstairs because really this, this floor is really for ad hoc stuff. And the automation should be downstairs. So that's my theory. So what we need now is another recipe. We want nine of these. Let's clear that off. And that's going to make a compressed one. So let's do that. So we put nine of these in here and that should make a compressed lead plate, which it has. We don't see that anymore, but let's go and get it. So here we have our dense lead plate, sorry. So we can put that now into this here and make a new recipe for that plate pattern. And then we can put that pattern in here. Fairly straightforward, really nothing special about that in this episode. So let's just put it into here. Press up ones here, isn't it? Oh, need to put the pattern in there. Good. So now we can come along. We can order some lead plates, dense lead plates. Let's just order a few of those. Okay. 
let's craft 10. We can start that. So that's going to start making those plates. Um, I'm going to check this thing over here. It's now finished, which is good. And that will probably have made the hole for us. Yes, it has. Good. So we can then activate this one again. It's probably a good idea. So, so now we can carry on doing the work that we were doing before. So now we've got a hole. We've got one aluminium hole. So this is the recipe for that. Basically, we can clear this one off. So one hole is made from five of these. Actually, let's put it like that. Plus 32 blocks. And that will make that recipe. So let's go and put that recipe into this interface here. So now we can order aluminium holes on demand. So we need eight, I think we need 40 of those, didn't we? So um, what I'm going to do is put those 35 into this table here. Oh no, I can't do that, can I? Can I put it in here? If I put them in here, so it'll go into the system. So let's just order some holes. We needed eight, so we need seven more holes. Let's start that. So that is that's everything for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks again very much for your tips, Zero Life. They've been great. And we shall carry on this next step with this well carry on doing automation for the for the fusion walls. So until then, bye for now.